How to Save Loose Change Saving money can seem daunting, especially when you feel like you are living paycheck to paycheck. An easy way to start to save is to collect your loose change. Dollars are made of coins, after all, and over time, your loose change can add up to a significant amount. One report notes that approximately $10 billion in loose change is laying around in American households, so some of that is probably around your house. By being aware of the loose change around you and making a conscious effort to save it and gather it in one place, you will soon reap the rewards of your new saving habit. Method 1 Looking for Loose Change 1. Empty your pockets and wallet of loose change at the end of the day. Not only will your purse be lighter without the change weighing it down, but you will also ensure that you actually make note of and save that change. 2. Check for loose change in your home or car. When cleaning your car or vacuuming your sofa, check for loose change in the seats, between the cushions, or on the floor. You'll be surprised by how much you can gather by just looking for it. 3. Keep your eyes open when out in public. Loose change can often be found on the ground in parking lots, in change slots in vending machines, and near drive, through windows. Make it a habit to check these areas for loose change, and you can add to your growing collection. 4. Borrow or rent a metal detector. If you're looking for a hobby that can potentially help your bottom line, using a metal detector to find loose change could be for you. When you go out with your detector, practice the low and slow method by keeping the detector coil close to the ground and giving the machine enough time to process what's below. Then, when you hear a beep, carefully dig and look for buried coins or other treasure. Parks, sports fields, and beaches are popular places for metal detecting. If you want to use your detector on private property, be sure to ask permission first. 5. Find ways to create more change. Make it a habit to pay for small items in cash and pay a whole dollar amount instead of providing change. For example, if your coffee is $4.35, pay with a $5 instead of four singles, a quarter, and a dime. The more change you create, the more change you can save. 6. Check for valuable coins. When gathering and picking up change, keep an eye out for coins that may be worth more than face value. Silver coins, like dimes and quarters, minted prior to 1965, may have enough silver in them to be worth more than the 10 cents or 25 cents you may think they're worth. Method 2 Making Loose Change Count 1. Put a piggy bank or empty jar in a prominent place. This will serve as a visible, daily reminder to save. Then, when you have loose change at the end of the day, place it there. You can also collect the money you find while doing laundry or cleaning your house in this bank or jar. 2. Tally your change each month. Pick a designated day at the end of each month to gather and count your change. You will be surprised by how much this can add up to in such a short amount of time. 3. Wrap your coins and take them to the bank. Most banks will happily supply their customers with coin wrappers, so ask yours for some before counting your change each month. Once you've grouped and wrapped your quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies, take them directly to your bank. 4. Purchase an automatic coin sorter. If you find yourself with a large amount of change each month, you can save a lot of time with an automatic coin sorter. A manual one, with a crank, can be purchased for as little as $25. These machines quickly sort your coins and deposit them into wrappers. The coin changing machines found in supermarkets are an option for counting your money but remember they charge a percentage of each dollar for the service. 
5. Deposit your accumulated change into a savings account. When you reach the bank, do not cash in your coins. Rather, deposit your found money into your savings account to help build up your emergency fund, save for a trip, or help pay off debts. You could decide to use the loose change you save to make an extra mortgage or car payment each year, thus paying down your debt. Tips Many banks would prefer to accept your coin rolls if you have an account with them. They may ask you to write your account number on the outside of the wrapper. Some banks and credit unions don't count change and have self-service coin machines. Just dump the change, get a receipt from the coin machine, and take it to the nearest teller.